and let us all that we can to build a better future. Daniel, Kira, Faze, our viewing audience, I am shocked, shocked that our elected officials are doing have been doing inside trading with their family members too for so long. I will actually. It's like it's, it's like they made it's like their people that write the laws have made it legal. You can't insider trade anywhere in the country unless you're in Congress, where That's right. it's probably the most affected. So let's pull this video up. I want to read the tweet first, if we can. Uh, if we can, phase, I'd like to read the tweet. So let's pull that uh, video up. So first, Speaker Nancy, Nancy Pelosi, dismisses calls for lawmakers and their spouses to be prohibited from trading stock. They're stunks. We are a free market economy. Uh, they, should be, they should be able to participate in that. So let's all enjoy this wonderful 40 second video, or 44 second video. Let's play it in its entirety. Insider just completed a five month investigation, finding okay. that 49 members of Congress and 182 senior congressional staffers have violated the Stock Act, um, the Insider Trading Law. I'm wondering if you have any reaction to that. And secondly, should members of Congress. Good luck, good luck. Right. I know, right? <laughs> That's vodka. That has to be vodka. <laughs> no, Enjoy no, your vodka. No too. to this second one. No um, to the second no. one. Any, uh, we have a responsibility to report in the stock, uh, on the stock, but I don't, I'm not familiar with that five month review, but if uh, people aren't reporting, they should be. Yeah. You pause it real quick for a second. I just want to make the point that it's amazing to me how this always happens with Congress people, CEOs, presidents. When they want something to happen, they know all the details, they know all the pieces involved, they know how everything goes on. When it's corruption in their own house, I don't know. What? How could this so happen? I hacked my account. I don't know. <laughs> what do you what what do you mean? Wait, wait, the laws of the land apply to me? I, I never knew that. I've been in Congress for 30 plus years. 40 plus years. I'm I'm 88 years old. Where's my oval teen at? And it's, I know, I'm so I'm going I'm, I'm so I, I I I look, I'm going to hell. We all know this. Well, let's we can play the rest of it. I, that's okay. I, I'm because sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. Free market and people. We have a free market economy. They should be able to participate in that. Okay, so let's pause right there. All right. So let's let's. I don't know what's happening, but I agree with them. Okay, so Nancy Pelosi. There's a lot to unpack in that short 44 second video, but it shows again that when push comes to shove, there's no reforming the Democratic Party. There's no way. AOC or the squad or any other progressive member in the House or Senate are going to convince Democratic leadership to move to the left or hold their feet to the fire. Dispel the notion of brand new Congress, Justice for Democrats, Our Revolution, and all these other progressive groups that are trying to reform the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is just as corrupt as the Republican Party. The only difference is when the Republican Party and their lawmakers, I want to make it very clear, because the difference between the voters and lawmakers, the Republican and Democratic lawmakers. When the, the Republican Party, when they give you the middle finger, they mean it. It's refreshing to see an honest enemy. But what the Democratic Party does, and the lawmakers like Nancy or Chucky Boy Schumer or Biden or Harris or anybody else, they put on this neoliberal mask smiling, saying, oh, yes, we do care about Medicare for all. Yes, we do care about UBI. We care about all these issues, but you got to vote for us so we can get more of us in office so we can sit on our hands and do nothing. That's all. Because they don't give a damn. They're in the same racketeering business as a Republican official. It's all one big club, and you, you are not in it. And their spouses are playing in the game. And, you know, the thing is, we were talking about this before the show. We were. Ne Look at that. The Christmas tree is going back. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, oh, it is? Yeah, that's it. Right oh, it's a Christmas tree. There you go. Yeah. Professionalism, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Just a reminder, it's a real window. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. So there we go. Uh, so I, before I hand it over to Daniel and Kira, Again, if if you know anyone who's a diehard Democratic voter or a diehard Republican voter, uh, look, try and get them out of this mindset because what you saw there was real honesty from a lawmaker. They don't care about following the rules. They can do insider trading and bribery and corruption, and they're not going to be held accountable all because we have a corporate media that's protected them and a loyal voting base in both the Democratic and Republican parties. We want real accountability. We want real change. Well, the first step is breaking away from the two-party system. And sadly, a lot of us still haven't gotten over the fact that we are being controlled by these puppeteers who are controlling our government all while abandoning us. They abandoned us in 2020. They left us alone again in 2021. And they're going to do the same in 2022, only except this time they're going to be on their hands and knees begging for us to vote for them, which is something I'm not going to do. I'm going to support ballot initiatives, and I'm going to support third parties 
And that being said, I want to hand it over to Daniel and Kira. Daniel, why don't you take it away? We were talking a little bit about this before the show. It's like, you know, you're fighting an empire. You're fighting a very formidable opponent just by the way that it's set up. And we have to be the people that get people to move away from both parties. Neither party is good. Neither party is useful. It's just a, an abusive couple and uh, America's the children that are suffering the, the beatings and the manipulation from them. And um, it's like in the squad, like I was talking about the squad earlier. It's like such a, such a shame that it's uh, that they are there. It's like Nancy Pelosi, like a strong enough wind can knock her down. <laughs> and like no one, none of the squad are able to surmount that. They're like, like if this is kids, Nancy Pelosi, like this is the squad. I pushed her really hard. I did a Don't lot of work. Do that I, I'm really sorry. I'm going to cry. I'm sorry about that. That is the squad. And America is stuck with ab abusive, manipulative, alcoholic parents running the country into the ground. And ironic, here's a crazy thing just to kind of summarize America. The economy is terrible. Everything's bad. Stock market still goes up, still gets bailed out by the feds. You know what make the stock market go down? UBI. Mm -hmm. Healthcare for everyone. Mm -hmm. A reduction in the wars. That's what hurts the stock market. Things that help you. And, uh, yeah, you know, um, I actually think Holly Horn made a really great point in our uh, chat uh, saying this is not news. It would be news if she suffered consequences. And um, I tend to love that sentiment, although I was honestly a little surprised at how um, forward she was with her answer in mm -hmm. regards to that. There wasn't any sidestepping. It's like a bunch of slurring and stuttering that we usually get from Nancy when she gets a little awkward about a question that she obviously doesn't want to answer. Um, so um, I, her brazenness in that was a little bit surprising um, and, of course, extremely infuriating. Um, and, you know, just so y'all know, the, uh, you know, Congress folk who actually violate the Stock Act, uh, stock act um, the, the standard consequence of that is a $200 uh, fee. Oh, oh, whoa, $200. Man. Wow. So, <laughs> wow, that's, that, that's a hard hit. How are they ever going to recover? And My God. It's usually waived by the House or Senate, at the Senate ethics officials. Oh, cause, so it could be waived anyway. away. You don't have to pay so two I Benjamins. thought that was so really interesting. And, you know, like, okay, well, who cares then? You know? Mm -hmm. And then um, U.S. senators outperform broader market. This this is an old number because I swear I had heard a different number. I'll give you this number from, uh, gosh, I can't even remember, 2000, uh, 2011, um, right before they pa Congress passed the law in 2012 to combat insider trading. Mm -hmm. The stock market, you know, performs at about like you can you can guarantee about 10 percent gains annually. Mm -hmm. um, Back in 2011, U.S. senators were outperforming the broader market by by 12 percent. But I I think the last time I I heard an up to date number, and I and I with my timing today just couldn't uh, find it. But I, I think it you know 10 percent annually for for the for the normal folk, mm -hmm. and then um, I think it's 28 percent that wow. they're performing at annually if you are a legislator. So. You know, to Nancy's point of like, you know, this is how the free market works. Everybody should be able to take part in it when you're making the rules mm -hmm. and those rules directly impact your financials. No, no, you should not be participating in it. That is a price that you pay for being, you know, a public servant, just like the way they're supposed to basically hand off businesses. You know, which, of course, we saw get completely steamrolled as well. So, um, so you know, I would have liked to have seen her pushed on that. But I, I know, again, she would probably fall into a stumbling slur, uh, if, you know, if that happened. So. Or Aries, uh, she'd be like, all of you are dismissed away from me. And now <laughs> I shall go in my ice cream sarcophagus and <laughs> rejuvenate in baby's ice cream. There you go. That's, oh, you've seen the, the YouTube video Baby Ice Cream? No, I haven't. Oh, no, no. That's, YouTube um, video Baby no. Ice Cream. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's Ice Cream Nancy Pelosi just saying, hey, it's okay for us to be corrupt, but when you guys do it, you're breaking the law. 
When we when we when us lawmakers do it, it's called politics. You know, I would love to do if I was in Congress, just like call out the stock purchases of all the Congress people as soon as they're made. If that was if I somehow got access to that information. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and and on this Business Insider um, report that the reporter in that uh, video is referring to, they list all forty nine members that um, that was were that were doing uh, trading inside trading. Um, you know, what, what came to be of all of that. And, uh, you know, there are, you know, there are a lot of Democrats and a lot of Republicans on it. Like, you know, yeah. it's pretty, I, I also want to add pretty, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Is reprehensible. Ubiqu ubiquitous. Oh, yeah, ubiquitous. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, here's, here's another thing too, before we end it, how, how much longer are these politicians going to be in office until they die? Dying Feinstein's Why do we have to give old. them good health care? Yeah, Dying Feinstein's 91 years old and doesn't know where she's at or having early <laughs> onset dementia. Sorry, I'm being ageist here. I'm not trying to be mean on purpose, but... but no, she actually is. Don't, I mean, don't but it, it, don't downplay what it, you're saying. The one like, time you agree she's at, that you're... She actually yeah, is yeah, suffering yeah, mental... The, the one time issues. you agree that you're ageist is the one time you're saying something that's not ageist. <laughs> right. Like it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just Look, 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 look. Look, because I'm going to be... Maybe if I live long... I don't know if I'm going to live that long. But if I get to my age and I, there's going to be things I want to do. One of the things I'm not going to want to do is be involved in politics. There's a lot you could do in your 90s or 80s or whatever you want to do. Retired. Yeah, just just hang around, walk around, in my hang, RV. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, or, or talk to your grandchildren. Or, all the ham you can eat. Uh, eat a ham. All the ham you can eat. Eat a ham sandwich. Count <laughs> trucks. Do it. Go ahead and do that. Trust me. But being involved in politics, Nancy Pelosi's got to go. AO, uh, AOC, where where you at? How come you don't have the courage to stand up? I actually up to her? think that AOC is not a real threat yeah. in general. I think that we just have to get someone that has any amount of backbone, and they just push AOC lightly and she'll just fall over. Yeah, a AOC be like, oh, I'm going to go cry in the corner. And then meanwhile, Nancy's just there just eating ice cream. Like, come on, this is so pathetic. Diane Feinstein, 91 years old. Uh, Biden getting early onset dementia. Nancy, 88 years old. I mean, they, they all got to go. Like, what, what more can and, they and do? Then, meanwhile, Russia and China, their leaders are just like, eh. Yeah. Oh, look at the old person. Yeah. We'll make you a ham sandwich. Cute. We'll make you a ham sandwich. <laughs> Putin's like, duh. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. So, folks, uh, lesson of the day: insider trading bad, but our politic, but our politicians are doing it. Insider trading bad, reprehensibly, morally unreprehensible. Unless you're yeah. in office, where you yeah. have the closest ability yeah. to get the most money off of it, and get it, okay. get a two hundred. Then why wouldn't you? You'd be crazy not yeah. to. You'd be crazy not to. I mean, that's to. really what, how she should yeah. have answered. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, do you know how much money I'm making? <laughs> yeah, she's like. That ice cream's every, not going to buy itself. Every, <laughs> every year I, I increase my wealth by 50%. I'm happy. There you go. Yeah. Old hag bag Nancy. So there you go. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, that's going to get yeah. us cooked off. Uh, I know. <laughs> you know and what? It, At no, this no, point. I, no, to, to help get out on that, it is a brand. It's the hag brand. And, uh, and of course, it's a very high-end brand. So, of course, uh, Nancy would buy it. Do the hag I don't know. Just, have bags? I don't know. It just, it just came in my brain. I just thought hag bag, old hag bag Nancy. I like, I, like, I like the term. Yeah, yeah so there you go. Good. Maybe we can make a trend. Maybe, <laughs> audience. Hag bag Nancy. Yeah, old hag bag Nancy. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm going to hell. Yes, All right, folks. Are. We're going to move on right there with you. Yes, go ahead. We'll be friends right there. All right, Dan, you'll join us too, buddy. So there you go. All right, folks. We're going to.